just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Baby, you can never be sure they'll be luck. Raisins, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Isn't it hot? Aye, it is. You have a lot to carry on such a sunny day. I'll be all right, Mrs Goggins. Oh, and there's a special delivery for Adji. Hmm, I wonder what's in it. Children's... Mum, 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 is there any ice cream? We're ever so hot. <laughs> no, darlings, not now. I'm too busy. And ice creams are for special treats anyway. Oh, Mum! Uh, sorry, but I'm sorting through all this clothing for the charity sale. Nisha's expecting it before lunchtime. Now, where's that other bag? Come on, Tom. Let's help Mum tidy up. Surprise! Oh no, I just sorted all that out. I'll have to start again now. Oh, I'm sorry darlings, I know you were trying to help. But this is a job for grown-ups, not children. But Mum! Now off you go and let me get on. <sighs> I bet other people would be really pleased if we went and helped them. Yeah! Come on! Ugh! This scarf smells of sheep. Come on, come on. Morning, Elf. Everything all right? Morning, Pat. Nay, me neck's all cold. Really? But it's a hot day. Aye, but there's a wind up here, Pat. I haven't got my scarf, see? Dorothy gave it to the charity sale. Oh, dear. Well, I hope the wind dies down. <coughs> See you later. <coughs> Thanks, Pat. Bye. Right, there's just Rosie to feed and then I've finished. Now, where's she gone? Oh, hi. Uh, can you hold this steady? Yeah. Up a bit. <sighs> no, up. Oh. Up. Oh. <sighs> oh, no. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Glenn. It's all right. I think you have to be a bit bigger before you can help with this sort of thing. That's what Mum says. Oh, before I forget, can you give this to your mum? I said she could have it for the charity sale. Yes. Thanks, Ted. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> hey, oh, looks like Rosie's escaped again. What's she got there? Hey! Rosie! Come on. <laughs> Good 
morning, Amy. Parcel for you. Hello, Pat. Thanks. Oh, great! My new sunglasses. Oh. My old ones were really scratched. What do you think? Very nice. Bye, Amy. Bye, Pat. <laughs> What are you doing, Ajay? Mending train, Tom. But I'm waiting for a spare part to come in post. Can we help? Aye, if you like. You can pass me that big wrench, please. Um... No. That's pliers. The wrench. No. Not the screwdriver. No. That's... That's the big... Oh, oh no! No, no! You leave them there. It's dangerous for children to go on their track. I'll get them. Sorry, Ajay. Are, don't worry. It's my fault. Mending engines is for grown-ups. Yeah. We should have known. <sighs> ah, there you are, Pat. Have you got a parcel for me? <coughs> it's a spare part for the rocket. Yes, I... That's funny. Where's it gone? It was there earlier. I've lost it. Oh, no. The rocket won't go without that new part, man. Oh, it's not fair. Why doesn't anyone want us to help? It's because we're too small. Look. Huh? There's Rosie. She must have escaped again. Let's catch her. At least that'd be helping. Rosie! Oh! Ow! Oh, I bet that was another job for grown-ups. Hi there, you two. Do you want to come and help? Yes, please. What shall we do? Well, you can fill Pumpkin's water bucket if you like. OK. Never mind. Perhaps that was grown-up work. Why don't you come and stroke Pumpkin instead? He loves that. Everyone treats us as if we're just kids. OK, kids. I've got to go on my rounds now. But you're welcome to stay a while with Pumpkin if you like. Bye. Bye, Thanks, Amy. Amy. <laughs> Hey, look at these. It must have been thrown away. <laughs> you look really grown up. Hey, I've got an idea. What? See? Now we look like a grown up. I can't see anything from in here. Now we're a grown-up, we're big enough to help. Or make rude noises. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't be silly. Or we could eat whatever we like. Hey, yeah! I know! Let's go to the cafe and have ice creams. Mum says ice creams are for special treats. She'll never know. Anyway, it's all right if you're a grown-up. Okay. Come on. Oh. Bye, pumpkin. Seen anything, Jess? Meow. Hmm, where can it be? There's Rosie again. What's she got? Rosie? <laughs> what was that? Something fell down there. It sounded like metal. Well, I'm not getting it. It's probably full of spiders. Come on, let's get the ice cream. 
Morning. Lovely day. Yes. Sunny. Pardon? Uh, Sunny? Sorry, in the hurry. Oh, right then. Nice coat. Just like the one I used to have. Morning. That's a nice scarf you've got there. Thank you. I had one like that myself, but it... Uh, uh, oh, oh, bye, bye. Hello, Alf. You didn't find a small parcel up at Thompson Ground, did you? Nay, nay. Sorry, Pat. Oh, dear. Bye, Pat. It's no good. I've looked everywhere. It's just disappeared. Oh, dear. I won't be able to mend the rocket without it. I wonder if that gentleman's seen it. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah? Uh, yes? You haven't seen a small parcel lying around anywhere, have you? Uh, uh. Rosie was eating a parcel earlier. That must have been it. Oh, yeah. Uh, over there. Um, over there? Can you show me? Uh, yeah. Was his tummy just making funny noises back? Meow. I think it was, Ajay. And I think I know why. Here we are. Is this it? Yes. Did the parcel fall in there? Yes. Right. I can't reach it. My arm's too big to fit. Here, let me try. My arm won't fit either. This is terrible, Pat. If we can't get that part, I won't be able to mend the rocket. If only there was someone here with smaller arms. Perhaps they could reach down and get it. Tom, we've got to help. But we'll be found out. I know, but it's the grown-up thing to do. Tom? Katie? Huh. <laughs> Hello, you two. Hello, Pat. We'll help you. Uh, Watch out for spiders. Uh, Ooh. Got it! <gasps> I got it! Ah, oh, thank you, Katie. Now I can mend the rocket. Well done, you two. Now, why were you in this funny disguise? We wanted to help people, but everyone kept saying we had to be grown up. But then we were... We decided to have some ice cream at the cafe instead. Well, you were very helpful to Ajay today, weren't you? Yes. And you didn't have to be big to do it, did you? No. So maybe being twin size isn't so bad after all, eh? No. I think I like being the way I am. Me too. With Katie on your shoulders, being grown up is really hard work. Come on. Let's get you two those ice creams. Meow, meow.